Welcome back to another figure review and unboxing. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new exclusive Walmart R Striker from the Retro GI Joe line. This set comes with the action figure crankcase. This is front of the box. Kind of looks like the vintage artwork on the front. Very nice. We have the R Striker name here. Hasbro logo here down the bottom left. Some warnings here at the bottom. The action figure is displayed in the window box with his name displayed underneath of the window. This is for ages four and up. Let's take a look at the artwork. There's Dusty, Gung Ho, Crankcase. Moving in the battle inside the R Striker vehicle. Top of the box is just a black box. R Striker and G.I. Joe has the logo. The bottom of the box shows the R Striker and crankcase and the driver's seat. Some product information and UPC code. On the side of the R Striker, same picture with the crankcase inside the driver's seat. G.I. Joe and Hasbro logo. And this side, same thing as the other side. Granted, this box is in great condition. There's no bends or it's not smashed anywhere or torn. Very nice looking artwork. Definitely worth keeping if you do open it. Find a box and open it just for the artwork. So this is these are held together by this piece of tape. The two little flaps. Let's see if we can get this out of there. Sounds out like an insert. There's your figure. And there's your vehicle. Here's baggie. The first baggie. This looks like it comes with four baggies. We'll call it four baggies. So one's for the stickers. So you get three bags of parts and one sticker and instruction sheet in the baggie. Let's take a look at this one. Okay. Some good tape. So in the first baggie, you get crankcases stand done in all black, two peg holes, GI Joe molded, nothing painted. You get the R Strikers two antennas. It's done in gray plastic. You get a black hose and the top cannon. That's your first baggie. Let's see, the second baggie has your four tires in. Oh, so we have gray tires and a green rim on all four tires. These look like they're just simply pushed on to the post. The third baggie is your R Striker. Let's see if we can get him out of there. Take a look at the paint. If I can remember correctly, I think this might be a lighter green. So in here you get the roll cage top. This is where your gun will go. And these two pegs here is where the antennas will go. 
when you're assembling your Oshriker. It's done in a really nice green. It's like a... I want to say this is lighter than the 25th anniversary uh, shade of green they did. But I could be wrong. And here is the, the body of the car. And I want to also say that I think in the 25th anniversary that this and this piece is black. But they are done in gray this time around. It's actually gray seats. It's a darker gray than the these two pieces here. So here's the side of the vehicle. Right out of the box. There's the back. This, yes, this does, like the other ones, they do, rem this engine cover is removable. So here's the engine. It's done in like a really dark gray. It's not, I don't think that's black. It doesn't look black to me. Here's the engine cover. Standard one we've seen before. And the engine is removable. Two pipes. <clears throat> this is what it looks like without the engine. There's a battery. And nice that they painted those posts to give a little bit of color. You can stand two figures here and here. Seat two figures. So this roughly holds two fig four figures. Two in the seats and two on one in each side. So it'd be total four. There's the top of it. There's the front. There's some nice head, uh, clear headlights there. Here's the bottom. Hasbro brand, made in China, of course. And there's a piece of cardboard here to protect the suspension you know one thing to note is if you ever had an arm striker for over the years is this suspension usually fails due to gravity so once you put your car on it kind of sits like this and it sits at an angle up and then you can you can push it up and down on the back it has the working suspension but over time it's just there's no suspension it's just stiffer plastic that wears out from the, it's from the weight of the vehicle and the figures that are sitting in it in play. So one of the things is hard to do is to maintain that that lift when it sits. So when you're displaying it, I always find a way to like prop up, put something in there, so you can main, try to maintain that that lift as much as you can. So because once it fails, the wheel set up against here and they rub. So, you know, it's kind of a tip if anybody else has seen that or not, but it wouldn't hurt maybe to maintain this piece of plastic and then when you're not playing with it and it's on display, you can't even see it if you, once it's put together, and you simply pull it out whenever you want to play with it. Be a good, I guess that'd be a good tip. Let's put the, um, <clears throat> put the engine back in. Cover. And the last baggie you get is this one, which has the instruction sheet and the stickers. Go and get that open up and take a look at what's in here. First, we'll take a look at instruction sheet basically five steps to assemble your R striker a 
of the size shows your replacement of your stickers, your labels, whatever you prefer calling them. And what I kind of miss too is like the on some of the older vintage scale um, printouts they had actually on the back of it they had a section where it showed you like the weapons and they had names for every part. It was kind of really cool. Just like the carded figures, these are just kind of plain and not very retro looking, in my opinion. And we have a sticker sheet. These are all the labels you get for your R striker. You have the instructions to show you where to put these. Where, of course, you don't have to. You can put them wherever you want, but that's really up to you. On the back is just plain. Got some stripes, American flags, oil stickers, some red warnings and dangers, which you would expect from your judge or label sheets. There is something else in this bag, which I'll find out what it is. It looks like this is product information. I think I've seen these before in the Vintage Star Wars figures. Really nothing collectible. Okay, let's take a look at our figure crane case. Oh, it just pulls right out of the box. It's in a little clamshell, no cover. The cover's on the front of the box. There's no tape, no rubber bands, ties, it just pops right out. It's good. So here's crankcase. This is kind of a better mold than the one from the 25th anniversary. He had a lot of articulation issues, especially that diaper crotch for sitting inside the R-Striker. As you can see, this one's going to sit perfect. But I can see something I don't like. Let's take a look. His helmet is removable. It's gray with brown stripe straps. This is probably the best head sculpt I've seen for crankcase and in modern version figures. At least his hair and beard is orange. I do like that head skull very much. And then he has a brown straps over into his belt, which is removable if you, if you desire. Comes in a green shirt, very light tan pants, very light. Some black here with the well, first thought it was a knife holder, but it's, it's not open there. Not sure what that's supposed to be. Brown boots. See my camera to focus. For articulation, head goes 360 all the way around. Shoulders are on the ball joint. They go up that far. They will rotate 360 on both arms, if you so desire that. Um, they do have bendable elbows, and this is the part I do not like. I mean, come on. That is absolutely the worst articulated figure that has articulation. That's terrible. Look at that. You don't even get nothing. So that's a mark against this figure <laughs> that's, just, that's awful 
Well, I figure it does not come with any accessories, so, so besides the helmet, so at least we'll have to worry about trying to pose him with a gun. But if you want to add him, a gun to him, well, good luck finding something that looks cool with it. He does have chest articulation here, right here. This is all one piece. There's nothing in the waist. We did already take a look at him sitting. He does sit very well, at least for a driver. It looks like he has double jointed knees. Well, that's a plus. Very nice. And he can pivot his foot down. It is extremely stiff, so I'm not going to force it. But I can see the joint there. Oh, there it goes. That one does it easier. That one's kind of stiffer. Work on that later. One last look at the figure. It's definitely a upscale version of what we've gotten last anchoring case in the 25th anniversary, but far from perfect. Now let's take a look at uh, this file card. And here is the awful file cards that come the same way on the individual figures. You get this much information. And the rest is done in five different languages. In my case, there's no sense of even cutting that off the box. I might as well keep the box for collectability. And play with your R-Striker and your figure. And leave your bar cord attached to the box. Not even worth your time cutting it out, in my opinion. So, I'm not going to assemble this because I want to put it back in the box. This time, I'm not ready to have it out in the box. But it's very simple. You, if you're a GI Joe collector, you probably have one, two, probably multiples of these. Um, some of the pieces here. Not very many. You got your instruction, your sticker sheet, that crap, and a helmet, and this amazing figure. <laughs> well, so overall, outside of the the lack of the articulation in the arms. And no weapons for crane case. It should at least come with a pistol or something. Um, there's a, that's about the only two negatives I have for the figure. I mean, they are going for a retro look. I get that. But, you know, no excuse for the articulation. The vintage figure has better articulation than <laughs> this figure does. Both sides, it has the... Um, Double jointed knees and pretty decent head sculpt. I do like that. You know, the file card's garbage. The box is nice. Very nice artwork. Nice dis nice presentation. The vehicles, which you would expect. It's an R striker. It's stunning good pla standard Hasbro plastic. Um Yeah, that's about it. I mean, these thing these run at Walmart for if you can find them, they're kind of hard to find, even on Walmart.com. They go for about $24.95, I think it is, $24.96, something like that. When I found this at Walmart, they just, this is all they had. They had one, and no figures. So, I want to wish you guys happy hunting. Hope you find these if you want them. Um, the figure, it's worth picking out for $25. Bucks. I wouldn't pay, in my opinion, I would pay... $50, $75 on eBay scalping braces. 
I mean, if you have an honor strike, you're not going to miss nothing. But the figure, I do recommend. I do recommend picking this set up. It's not perfect. The file card and the articulation. Some of the articulation in the figure is my biggest complaint. Um, but that, I wouldn't stop me from buying it. So I wish you guys happy hunting. Hope you find if you want this set. And um, if you like this video, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, thank you so much for watching.